Okay. Now back to the village. And I think I will edit another empty object. Reset it to zero zero. And um let's call this buildings and props. And just take all those the village and move them in here. So now we can sort them better to have a clearer um, structure in our map and also rename this one into characters. And move it down here. So, now into the village. And what do I want to move? I want to move the mayor's house, that's this one. That's the one. Let's rename this so we know what it is. That's the mayor's house. And as mayors would like to have it, it should be somewhere where you can overlook the area. So let's for instance, move it over here. On that terrace, terrace here. Basement access is usable, and the stairs are fine over there. Okay, good. Let's take our in. It's this one. I think I will move it back here. No, let's undo that because we also need that rock. Which is part of the wall. Let's just throw it in here as well. Okay. Now let's have a look at this 
stables. If they're usable. Yeah, looks like it. Just saw that the wall here is floating. Okay, let's move it down a bit. Yeah, it should be fine now. Point and that's fine, okay. Yeah, nice. So, next thing we do. Blacksmith uh, back a bit. Let's have a look. Smizzy, can we move this? Start destroying the alignment. Too much. Might be a bit too far back, but. Yeah, there's a bit of floating on these props. And. Oh no. The house is floating. But the back of the house is sunken into the ground, so I need to flatten out the, the ground a bit under the. under the smizzy, so that it's working for us. So let's go to the train. Let's first, before we do that, let's check the distance to the mountain and look if it's in the right spot for final adjustments. Mm. I think I will move it over here a bit. So that it will be the the first building you will see when you Come down this path. And let's go to here at another empty object. Let's call this trees and throw all those trees in there. and one rock one rock over there okay 
Now oh, let's keep that rock for a moment. We can use it later. And now let's have a look at this messy over in this area. It still looks kind of floaty. Okay, first things first. Let's go into the terrain and to extras or details not extras and just cut down the grass around it. Okay. Now we can see that it's really floating. Okay, let's have a look at. Um, we had yeah. We have one onion barrel somewhere over here, way back at the campsite. And I used this barrel just to find the right coordinates for um, my for the terrain height, so I can flatten it out at the right height. So it needs to be. this and find the right coordinate for it. So let's come here, move it up a bit so it's slightly sunk into the ground. Okay, let's take this coordinate, go in here and paste it. Okay, I need to go lower a bit, so let's take this to zero and just lower it a bit. Okay. Oh, that was too much, so. Yeah, point two looks okay. The distance, let's fly around a bit. Yeah, okay, point two is okay. We can we can work with that. Now it's a little, flo little bit floaty, everything around here, so let's just move this Mizzy down. For some reason the, the pivot isn't in the middle, but I don't want to change it at the moment. Oh no, I need to change it because it drives me crazy otherwise. So let's take 